Hello, here we go again. Okay, so last session I was trying to add the, the sound and and I found a couple of issues uh, after two hours plus. Um, so I have fixed those. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the session with a quick show and tell, um, explaining the changes I, I have made that I didn't do during the stream. Uh, before we keep going, uh, adding more enemies because yeah, we're running out of time. And Twelve days left, really. So yeah, I'm not completely sure it's going to be time for everything. But let's see, let's see how far I can get. And you know, I can always release the game later. It doesn't really need to be for the jam. I mean, it would be nice if it is, but it's not essential. Anyway, so um, so the last day um. I was trying to integrate uh, League Mic mod, and um, essentially what I did, it was correct, but we I couldn't get the effects to play uh, following exactly the examples in the documentation, and um, although. Because in this library you can select different drivers, and I was using a driver, for example, to dump a WAV file to disk and the WAV file was fine. So um, the code was working as expected for whatever reason the some blaster driver was not was not playing anything. And I have found that apparently um, if the music player is no is not is not working uh, the sound effects don't don't have any effect. They don't play anything. Um, I'm not sure it does by design with the Sound Blaster driver or what's going on. Um, I've been reading a little bit the code of MicMod and to some extent it makes a little bit of sense because it's a library that it was uh, originally uh, providing uh, a player for different type of uh, mod files, different formats. Um, so I kind of it kind of makes sense when I'm reading the code, but I don't want to get into much detail of reading that code because I'm not really that interested. So at the moment it works and I'm going to keep going with that. So so basically I I added me my own functions wrapping around to kind of abstract and simplify how the library works. Um, so basically sound in it initializes the sound system, which you know detects the sound car, set as the driver and everything. Uh, and some free is the one that is going to release the resources um, when we exit the, the the game. Then sound update is a function that we're going to call um, so micmod updates the audio and it sends things to the sound blaster. Um, so this has to be called frequently. Um, independently, whatever we're doing. So I want to explain how we're going to do that. Then uh, I'm going to. I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to have only one one mod file, which is not even a mod file. It's an IT file. I'm going to use Inputs Tracker. Uh, there is a version. Well, there is a, a tracker called Schism Tracker that supports Inputs Tracker, and that's the one I'm going to use. Um, I, 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 I knew how to use it, I have forgotten everything, so I hope it comes back to me when I'm uh, writing the music, otherwise it's going to be a little bit difficult. Um, but we'll see about that. So basically I'm going to have only one, one song, right? And by changing the pattern, I can have sub-songs. So the benefit of doing it like this is that I'm going to share all the all the instruments and all the samples. So it should use less space basically. Then sound play effects is the one that's playing the effect. And then um, well they have mute and unmute, and I might need to do some other things. Now, the interesting thing here is that um, the sound update has to be called frequently to update the the audio and send things to the sound blaster um so yeah um i think uh, it's uh for i don't remember his name right now um chasing the beam i think it is well he may join us today 
he was he was uh, asking me um it, it was someone in the, on the chat the other day uh so he was asking out oh, uh, do you have a threads library here and i don't think i do but it's not really necessary because we have um an interval for the timer that is called every 55 milliseconds or 54 milliseconds um so I've changed that so we can provide a user function and that function will be run as part of that interrupt. And that's what I'm going to use to update the sound. Now that has a, a small problem um, because the sound uh, goes with the timer, with the clock, and the VGA doesn't have interrupt. They are not going to be synced well because they, we, we update the screen based on the VSync or the VGA card. So those are going to be out of sync. If I, because it could be that when I'm updating the code, I can say, oh, you know, play, play the sound effect. Uh, but then I'm not going to update the screen until uh, the VSync is, is, you know, is starting, right? So that means that um, something might happen on the action, we are going to say, you know, play this effect, but the effect is going to start before we update the screen. So it's going to be out of sync. In order to, to avoid that, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm doing is I have a queue. When I queue the, effect that we, the effects that we want to play, and these effects uh, the, in sound play queue are going to be played just when we update the screen. So let's take a look to that. So just very quickly, because this is just a show and tell. Um, so basically, this is we had this already the other day. Um, did we have this? Yeah, if it was not Excel, it is very similar. Um, so we we the last day we made a tool to embed in the X file uh, raw data and that is the WAV files that we're going to use the samples for the effects um, so basically this is a list of effects where we're going to keep the sample as initialized by mic mode uh, from memory and it's going to have what we need which is the sample data and the length how, how, how big it is, uh, is the sample um, so when we do the init uh, I don't know what we need to call this. Uh, it's confusing. <laughs> the documentation is not amazing. I think I have it now because you need to call this in order to support some internal functions that the tool is using. I'm not sure if it's absolutely needed, but I'm going to leave it because it may be. Then we register two drivers, sound blaster and not sound. Uh, not sound, not sound is because it turns out that the, the Atom laptop I have doesn't have some blaster emulation. I thought it, it had, but it doesn't. And there is no driver for that, the sound card it comes with. So, um, yeah, it's never going to play sound. So I need to, if we fail to configure the sound blaster, it's going to start with no sound and that's fine. So I can test the game in the, in the old laptop. And we only have one loader for the input tracker module files because that's the only one I'm going to use. Then this is some init stuff. <clears throat> some of the defaults are kind of funny, like the pan separation for the stereo uh, by default is kind of weird and the sample sounds pretty bad. I'm not sure if it's the DOS box emulation, but by setting it without separation, it's, it sounds great, super clean. And this is the frequency I'm going to use. I could be using higher frequency, but I think it's not useful because something we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you in, in a minute. So we initialize the library, so it will take all these values into effect. We load the samples from memory. Uh, we're going to have only one voice for effects. Um, we could be doing more, but I think it, it will, I, I like it if there is no too many sounds on the screen, uh, you know, at the same time on the action because it makes it difficult to understand what's going on. So I'm going to implement uh, only one voice with uh, uh, with priority base. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think it's going to be nice. 
and and then we load from memory the music that at the moment is not playing anything. Uh, it has one channel and silence, uh, and that allows uh, samples, you know, the sound effects to play. It's not a problem because the game is going to have music, but for now, for testing, that's that, that's what I'm doing. What I'm doing. Then you know, we're still playing the music, otherwise we don't have effects, and we enable the output, and you know, the queue is empty. Um, so this is the update that caused the mic mode update, and at the moment I'm using um, because this is called uh, from the timer, um, so. And I just added, you know, a function to set a user function and the interrupt basically says, if there is a same function, just call it. So that is going to be called every 54 milliseconds. So by having a counter here up to 10, it means that we call this twice per second, considering that that, you know, the Sun Blaster has DMA and there will be a buffer of some size and we are using uh, 22,000. It seems to be just fine. I can probably call this more often, but for now, I think it's plain okay. When I do more serious testing, I might change this value and maybe instead of twice per second, I can call it more often. Um, yeah, so mute and mute is pretty clear. It's just a wrapper around the functions. And free is just freeing samples and music and exiting. Very standard. Uh, yeah, the same for pattern. Okay, and this is the kind of the interesting, the interesting stuff. So the play effects is using uh, priority base. Um, so basically, uh, what I'm doing is the bigger is the number, the higher priority. So it means that jump can interrupt gold, but it can interrupt warp if it's playing. And to do that, I just check, you know, the current sound is bigger than the effect you want to play and the voice has not, you know, we play in the sample, then return, I'm not going to play that one. Otherwise, hey, hey, how you doing, Genesis? And otherwise, in here, um, we set the, the effect and we just play play it. So this is how a priority base, a very simple priority base plays. Um, I'm doing this also in my 8-bit games because, for example, uh, on the Amstel CPC and the Specky, you have three channels. Where I am from? Yeah, I don't think that's important. I'm, I'm from Spain. And... Uh, yeah, basically that's how it works. I do the same thing in, in other places. Um, and the queue, basically what it does is, you know, so in the queue we set a uh, max queue of four, uh, because I don't think I'm going to have more like that. Four is probably enough, or probably too many. And we basically add the queue. <laughs> nice. Um, so yeah, uh, really. So what is the play queue does? The big play queue uh, that is, you know, is it calls some play effects. And the only thing that is that's interesting is that calls update at least once. This will the interrupts. So the sound starts playing just immediately. I mean, looking in the game, uh, it just does that. After this uh, V-Sync, we update the screen and we play everything in the queue. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, then how do we play the sounds? Well, calling that the queue, for example, do we have anyone here? See, like this, song, queue, FX, and the FX. And that's it. I mean, it's kind of simple uh, how it works all together. So, yeah, Genesis, let's take a look to the game with sound effects now. Is that good volume? Can you hear the effects? Or is it too loud? I haven't checked the mixing. Sounds perhaps a little bit... Yeah, I don't know. It, 
it, it sounds. So basically what I did is once I had this and I tested that it was working, I added, um, I just added one effect for each of the possible actions that can trigger an effect, which is basically uh, what I had in the to-do here. So, I mean, this is kind of done. You know, when we pick a goal, jump, pick a, uh, the effect to appear in like, for disappearing, I'm using the same one. It sounds okay. The timeout is uh, when we are over 10 seconds, you know, less than 10 seconds, it does pom pom. So, it, you know, if it's fine. And the effect for it. So, I think those are all the effects the game is going to need. And they are in place already. So, the only thing that is missing is, is the music. Um, cool. So. So. Um, yeah, the only thing I'm not completely sure is uh, if I need to disable interrupts to call uh, if I need to disable the interrupts to call the update I'm not completely sure, really It doesn't When I don't have it, it doesn't seem to affect the result, but I think looking at the code, it should. So yeah, um, hmm, not completely sure really, but it seems to be okay either way. Uh, so currently what it needs a little bit of testing and I'm not completely sure if it will cause problems. I have a couple of volunteers already that they would like to help me testing uh, with real hardware um, of the period, so I might do that um, and see if I need to call the update function more frequently or if it's, if that's enough. And also, yeah, I think I'm going to keep it like that with the interrupt. Hey there, we don't have the sound here in the game. But it's okay with the game sound no. Okay, let's try to fix that. Okay. Um mm. let me see, let me see. Um Let's see what is the mixing doing here. Um, oh, it's because it's likely that this is too loud, right? Can you hear it now? Hmm, I can definitely hear the sound. No? Haha! <laughs> well, that's going to be a problem. Um, well, it's playing the right place. It's definitely playing in my head. In my. You can't hear that! Interesting. Hmm, I think it may be... You can hear the game sounds. They are too loud. I mean, there's, they're not loud enough, right? Low volume. Hmm, right. Yeah, let's see. Let me see. What about now? Sounds I 
I mean, I, I don't hear why you're here, but I see the, the monitor. Okay, now it's cool. Excellent. I guess... What about now? Is the mixing okay? I guess... Um, once you, you know, the effects are playing, there's nothing really interesting to hear right now. Cool. So that was a catch up because the last session, it was not very successful. I spent about two hours and I didn't get the sound to work the way I wanted. So I spent a little time off camera and yes, I wanted to explain how it works. In case someone is following this, I'm not sure. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is... Yeah, I need to work on enemies. I was going to play on... work on the next enemy on the list, but I thought that... because at the moment... Uh, regarding the... the things that can... that... can kill the player, the only thing that is missing is the time, right? So I'm thinking, oh, let's add the time monster, right? So what is the time monster? Uh, let's do what we did the other day and let's copy the snake just because it's... just because it's going to be a slightly faster uh what are you snake yeah i think that's going to be faster so i just need to change some names here I mean, it would be great if I don't make a typo, right? And... Yeah, I mean, at the moment, it's going to be exactly the same. Right, so... Pointers to how to set up a dev environment for those games. Yes, that is in GitHub. Um, there is uh, someone providing an environment, uh, so let's have a search. Uh, so, something like that, I don't know. There is someone doing something. Um, let me see if we can find it. Uh, Uh, how it was? Uh, it was a VS Code. It's very Windows specific. Uh, yeah, bad logic. This is the one. Okay, you probably want to use this. Um, I have a different way of doing things, and you know, I work on Linux. We'll go with that one. You can definitely do worse than this. Um, it has a lot of stuff. And to be honest, it is doing what I'm doing most what I'm doing mostly what he is doing. Uh, because he started doing this before I started doing this. Uh, but I I went a different route because I wanted to learn how things work uh, inside out, really. And and this is giving you a lot of magic magic stuff. Um, but look at this one. Bad logic, exactly. It's pretty good. And it's going to give you a lot of things solved, uh, which, you know, when I was working on this, I had a few headaches until I got everything working. But yeah, not too many, really. So, okay. So let's select the... Um, um, good question. How do I do this? Okay, so so I'm thinking, yeah, okay, so we need to set up the frames. 
I mean, this is the internals of me of my engine, right? Um, so it's not really, you know, this is the small thing I'm doing, really. But you know, though that 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 guy provides a full framework of a lot of things that you can do. I don't know if he's a game engine on itself, but. Oh, why is this so big? Should be one pixel. There you go. Okay, so I need first. Uh, no, this is absolutely not. Um, why is this huge? Oh, size three pixels it should be one pixel. There you go. So we need. I need one that is transparent because we're not going to draw all the time at first. So ninety six sixteen. Um, yeah. This is going to be for both sides uh, and probably on zero, really. And then, no, not here, my friend. And then we have to frame some nature direction that we're not going to use. Um, and this is the pix the sprite I did for, for this. So left is going to be 8048. And the other one will be then 9648. Yeah, because it's basically 16 by 16. So yeah. Uh, 9648 right so yeah those are the sprites um so we set the frames and then we go to monster update um mm, probably probably no and we're going to wait first so so we're going to place the time monster and we're going to make it blink a little bit uh, to tell the player that something is happening and then it will start moving uh, did I call it wait or waiting okay so we're going to have one that is going to be wait and the wait is going to wait how long? I don't know. Uh, a little bit. So wait. How how much? So this is in frames, uh, which is whatever you know, 16 frames per second. So if we say 60, is a second, right? 120. Make it two seconds. Give or take. Uh, right, so um, we can just use delay if e delay equals wait, then we change the update to be the regular update we said delay to zero so we have it for the next one all right uh, and what we're going to do here is because we want the we want the the frame to blink so we can do something like this I don't remember precedence here so I'm going to use that so one zero and delay and frame is going to be one sure so this will make the the monster blink and then move to update so at the beginning when it's blinking it can't kill the, the player and i guess here we can just get rid of all this stuff right So, 
So, if we hit the player and we kill it. Uh, okay, has to kill the player. Okay. So, if we hit the player, then what? Well, we need to reset the time. Um, so, le le so, this is because... So, the time monster appears when you run out of time, right? So, the only way that time monster can disappear is because it kills you or because you complete the stage. I need to think about a complete the stage. We haven't done that yet. So, if it kills you, we reset the time. And then we we set the the enemy to be garbage collected. So it's not. I mean, it's a bad name. It's, we're not garbage collecting anything, but it's not active anymore. So it's not going to be drawn or updated in the next frame. So that is done. Um, I mean, we can. Right now, some of it, but it's not going to do much other than blinking. Uh, okay, so one thing we can do is um, okay, not here, or oh, should it be here because we need to create the entity, right? Okay. So let's do that in the game. Okay, so... And we need a flag to know that because we're going to create the monster... No, I think we're going to have a, a point to the entity. So we're going to have okay. So this is because we need to track the, the time the the time monster, because if we complete the stage, we need to, you know, get rid of it, and it's inside the the entity system. So that means that we need a, a way of finding it very quickly. Um, so we're going to get a copy of the entity monster. Uh, is the entities available? Yes, it is because we use that in the player call. Yeah, entities. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, so the entity information and, you know, entity new and all other stuff is, is available for everyone to use. So we're going to have the time, the, the time monster. Um, so when we start the stage here, we don't have the monster, right? And then... So we get the value of okay. So we get the value of the timer, and we say that we're going to update the hub. So we could be doing it here. If time is zero, uh, and there is not the monster, then we create the monster, right? So entity new, if I don't, I'm not mistaken. Uh, it was entities. Entities new. Uh, man, stop formatting my code when I. If. Um. Right. So, can this fail? Mm, it can. So, let's do this. Worst case, we don't get the monster, right? So, um, we need to set up a lot of things. Because... Because entity is new. The only thing it does is finds a place, give us an entity, everything set to zeros. So uh, we need to set up a lot of things. So 
the y coordinate is going to be we're going to put it on the top of, of the screen so that's going to be for example 16 and the x can be for example 32 plus uh, and then we can get a random number and get so it's 320 right minus 64 is going to be 256 so that will give us one or the other side right and okay so run what is run coming from run comes from the standard lead uh, so we're going to need that Okay, so that gives us X and Y. Um, now, um, the way we're facing, I think, is going to be if X is bigger than 160, then it's going to be look to the left. Otherwise, look to the right. Yeah, right and left. There you go. Uh, cool, and now we need to do. Uh, we need the D monster here. It is probably the two entities we, we're going to use here, right? So we need to do. D monster in it, please. And we pass the entity. And it's going to set up the rest. Now the question is, and it's a valid question, do we really need to have this here? And the answer I think is going to be, no, we don't. It makes more sense to be the team monster who is dealing with those things, right? Because why needs the game to know about all this stuff? If it needs to go call to, to the uh, the monster in it anyway, so I would say, you know, let's init that on the demonster. And here is simpler. And actually it's not E, it's the monster. Cool. Excellent. Uh, now the question is... Okay, so there is a, a small, a small problem here. Because... The team monster will get rid of himself, but then in here we don't know, right? So we have the pointer to team monster. It's going to be a problem. Well, in reality, In reality, uh, we don't need to do it like this because we can say if there is time and and team monster, then there is something wrong here. So let's get rid of the monster, right? Can we do this here? Uh, no, we can't. This is a problem. Uh, aha. We can't do it here because we need to do it when the entity is update. So we need to do it here. Which is fine, I guess. No, this is a problem. We can't do it like this. Quack, 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 quack. This has to be 
when the entities update. Just here. It has to be here. So this is how we control the time monster. Um, so we don't know the entities. If the time is zero and there is no monster, we need a monster, so we create one. If the time must if the time well we can draw it like I mean it's see right? We understand everybody understands this. If there is no time there is monster, create a monster. If there is time and there is monster, the monster shouldn't be there. So we get rid of it. Um, and and this is okay because when we kill the player, we reset the timer. So this will take effect. I think this is fine. It doesn't compile, of course. Two typos. So first of all, we need access to the game here because of the reset time and also frames uh, we say fame here and it's frame okay and I think we're going to make it just a quick change um, because obviously uh, we don't want to wait 60 seconds to test it, right? So let's do 20 seconds so we don't have to wait that much for testing, right? So we have 20 seconds. Alright. Which is probably too much anyway. Well, it didn't work, did it? Hmm. It didn't work. So let's do 10 seconds instead. All right. Hey, how are you doing, kites? Yeah, thank you. Well, it's working. And it was working the other day. The two hours. Cool. Uh, the time monster is not working. Oh, because yeah. Come on, guys. There's people on the chat. You can see. Tell me when I'm writing something that is not even C. Be my be my copilot, guys. All right. So. Is the time monster going to be? Yes, it is. But that's not the frame. That was cool. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I mean, do you know? This code is open source. You can take a look. Although I'm not completely sure if it's going to be useful because it's for those. So it depends what you need to do. With the modern, with the modern libraries and stuff, you use SDL. It's super easy, you don't need to worry about anything. Um, what is this? It's because I put it in the wrong place. And... No, oh yes. I think this should be here. And this should be here. Mm. 
Yeah, it may be hard to use because I need it for threads. Oh no, done. That was not a good joke, my friend. <laughs> I think someone was making that same joke the other day. Maybe on IRC? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. How do you pronounce DOS in English? DOS? This operating system? 8048 is right. 9648 left. Yeah, that one looks good, okay. There it looks now. Okay, that was not quite right. Sorry, I look, look, I like the fact that you make sprites for the people working in both directions and then some sprites to the way and you were supposed to feed them. Yes, um, well, I could be doing that. Uh, you can flip things on the fly, but hey, racing the beam, I was waiting for you. You know what was the bug? I mean, you're sitting in a chair, right? You're not going to fall. It looks like the samples don't play if there is no music playing. Even if the music is silence, you need that. So there you go. Oh, they attack with the other hand when they're walking to the left. Yeah, I usually just mirror the sprites. I'm just doing it because I have a lot of memory and it's faster <laughs> than flipping the sprite on the fly. Cool, uh, it's still not right. Uh, so why not? So this is 8048. Okay, because I'm doing it wrong. 9016 is the one that is transparent. So basically, both were wrong. Oh, no, 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 they were not both, both wrong. So this is 8048 and this is 9648. So I just mix them all. Okay, so now it should be fine. It feels a little bit small. This is bright, I think. That looks great. That looks great. Yeah, I mean, that was the other way. Um, in the game I'm making uh, in Haskell, uh, and that's uh, absolutely fine. Yeah, that's a time monster right there. So the game I was making in Haskell, there was one guy saying that the, the kind of the light effect on the helmet of the spaceman it should be on the other side when it's facing to the to the left. And I say, come on, man. I tried to do it, but it doesn't look good. So mm, mm, I'm sorry to disappoint, but cool. So this is a monster appearing. Now we want to move. Um... And it can be the same, it can be uh, two seconds, right? So play collision is something that needs to do all the time. And then we exit. So if EX is bigger of, and now is when things are going to be, we need to think how to do this. Um, because I need to know where the player is. Haha, and I don't have that information. How do I track the player if I don't know what it is? Yeah, that was a bad idea from the beginning, but it's okay.
we can just keep adding this. It looks like we're writing Java or something. Uh... Can we do this in line? It really doesn't matter. It's going to be super fast anyway. Uh, so who cares? I don't care. This is me just being software engineer and I shouldn't. I shouldn't guys, don't be software engineers. Cause this is just wasting time. It's kind of going back in circles. It's a game, nobody cares. You know, you can do whatever you want and it's fine. Anyway, I'm doing it, so it's done. And the X is less than uh, do we have dimensions here? Yes, so it's going to be map width times map tile width minus 16. No, this is not the one, but we're going to use it. So it's bigger than zero then ex move last side and we need to set the direction right and this is the other way so it's going to be this is correct now And we need to do the same thing for the vertical. So if it's bigger than I and it's bigger than zero, zero, then we go up. If it's Y, Y, we're missing here. The variable so y and this the height and the height and 16 then we move y this way okay so now we need to do the thingy where we stop moving Mm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, how do we do this? So, we want the Time Master to chase the player for a period of time. And this is wrong to be here. It has to be at the end, after we move the enemy. So, um, how do we do this? Um, because we wanted to move for a time, for time, and then stop for some time. So, what do we do here? We can use delay. Delay over increments. Then if delay equals time to times, then delay is zero. Makes sense. That's the limit. If it's not time, it's wait. If your delay is less than wait, then it's okay to chase the player. So in this way, we move two seconds, we wait two seconds until we kill the player and that will reset the time. Yeah, Time Master. And 
it reset. I mean, it's doing the time reset to 10 seconds because we set the time to be 10 seconds. Oh. Okay, so we got the pickaxe. Basically. And go away. There you go, it works. I'm not sure if I like how it moves. Okay, I I did touch that. Cool, well it's not amazing, but it works. I think perhaps uh, the time moving is too long. I was stressed, so we thought the Wi-Fi was generating correctly. The Sun Blaster Tribute didn't work unless music was playing. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And don't ask me why, because I'm not completely sure. I mean, I did a show and tell at the beginning. Uh, if you watch the video later, if you want, you know, you will, I will explain how it works. Uh, I'm not completely sure why. I mean, looking at the mic mode code, um, I see that there has a, a variable saying it's playing and it checks that. And if it's not playing, it doesn't do a lot of things. So I think there must be something weird in the, in the uh, Sound Blaster code that is not setting that flag uh, in places that it should. Uh, and I don't know why. I, I'm not going to get too deep with that, but yeah, it works. I mean, at the moment, what I'm doing is, yeah, it is. Because do you remember, we were following the example, you know, line by line, and it was not playing sound whilst it was supposed to do it. Anyway, I mean, the Sound Blaster driver, well, um, is from... How, how old is that? So, I don't know. Are we going to... No, because it's a checkout. Don't be silly, but yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's the latest version of Mic Mod uh, for those, but uh, that could be someone is editing that. I'm sure. You know, some of this code can be pretty old. So, um, so, I mean, the copyright was uh, updated last time in 1999, right? That's not, doesn't sound new to me, so who knows? Yeah, but I suspect that, see. Uh, yeah, I suspect something here is kind of, it's not quite right. Hmm. Something related to the effects is not quite right. Anyway, it works now. So, okay, so I, I'm not completely sure I like how it feels. Um, I mean, it's doing what we asked to do, right? So, oh, we got the light outside. It's going to be the cat. Oh, it's going to be the Hedgehog. Who knows? It's a Hedgehog. It's a Hedgehog. We got the Hedgehog. It's absolutely fine. Oh, we were we were worrying about the Hedgehog. Well, I hope the cat doesn't appear now. <laughs> the Hedgehog is fine. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I think it feels a little bit unsatisfying, but I don't know why. 
So it appears blinking, that's fine. It moves fine as well. It, it's chasing the player. So I don't know. Yeah, my wife put some water for the Hesuel, by the way, because it's been quite hot here for the, you know, for, for, for a few weeks. But now it's raining again, so maybe that was why it was the high school was not going in adventure during the night because it was too hot. But now that it's been raining, uh, yeah, he's back and he seems to be okay. It's quite big, so I'm not sure. I mean, the cat, the cat has is bigger than the high school, but I was surprised. It was it's kind of a big high school, so I don't know. In a fight, <laughs> maybe the cat will try, but I'm not sure. He may have a chance, by the way. So not sure. And you know, if he has been collecting rings, then you know, if you get the rings out and, and it's safe. So we'll see. Um cool. I don't know what to do. Um it looks up it looks okay. Um maybe um it's just tweaking this a little bit. Um maybe we can have a different timer like Move time to be, for example, 90 frames instead of. And I see how it goes now. I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's what it's supposed to, you know, what I wanted it to do. Touch me, I lost one pickaxe. And I guess you could be finishing this the screen with the cool. I think this is done. Uh, I can't think of anything else to change, really. Um, it feels slightly better moving less time, 90 frames, so... Okay, uh, so the time limit we're going to set back to normal. And let's do a quick review of this. So yeah, I mean, this is the most controversial bit, I think. Uh, so the game, the game module tracks the time monster because it has to get rid of it, really. So if there's no time and we don't have time monster, we create a, we create one. And if there is time, and there is time monster, we get rid of the time monster because you know the time monster should be only on the screen when there is no time. What can we do to get back the time? Well, uh, killing the player, um, getting the extra time, and there is something that we need to add here. This is not quite right. If the stage is clear, uh, no, we don't need to do that. I know what we're going to do with that. So basically, when the stage is clear, I'm going to get rid of the, on all the enemies. And then, you know, it's the game, end of the, clear, the, the stage. When we get all the gold, we end the enemy, you know, disappear the enemies with the fade out effect. And it's going to be a stage clear and that's it. All the entities, it could be even disappearing the play. That's fine, we don't need to worry about that. Um, this is awful, don't look at it. It looks like we're writing Java here. Forget about that. You didn't see anything. Right and left, this, yeah, that's fine. And it's kind of random-ish. Um, and it's facing depending on where it appears. Fine. Is the blinking okay? Oh, 
Oh no, I changed that. We need to wait 60 seconds now. It's too long. Anyway, I'm going to like it. I don't want to wait for 60 seconds, 60 seconds. Yeah, the movement is fine. Uh, we, we, we are careful to not be out of bounds, although uh, the engine supports clipping, so it should be fine. It should never crash again just because of that. But anyway, it's cool that we be careful. If the player is collision, rest of time, that's fine. And, and that's it. Cool, so that's the time monster. Um, yeah, I was thinking... Um, just in case, I, I thought, um, maybe I can mention the tool I use for the sound effects, which is called Sphixia. This is really cool. This is supposed to be jump by the way. And then you can play with that. This is super fun. I mean, because... Look at that. Super cool. I just want to make some science fiction now with this. Oh, this is just setting. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, you can play with this a lot and. I don't know how it works, to be honest. But it's brilliant. Um, yeah, it's called Sphixia uh, by this guy, well, guy, gal, I don't know, uh, RXI. He has really 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 good projects Sphixia it was I don't I didn't even type it correctly Don't look at that Yeah there you go It has it's sitting on I I I um itchio but in reality, I get his prayers from GitHub because it's mostly open source. So, anyway, just wasting a little bit of time, but this developer is really good. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan, and I just want to mention it that I'm, I'm a fan. So, among other things, he has. F-E or Ferrum or I don't know how they pronounce that. It's a super tiny Lisp like language. It's really cool. You can use it uh integrate with C brilliantly. You can use it for whatever, you know, like um configuration management, scripting language. It's really cool. Um I'm using it a little bit here. Well, uh, what did I call this game now? I was using it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep working on this. Um, but um, just a quick example. Oh, this is I don't know. I, I check I check a lot of them, but so this I'm using it as a scripting language here, and. 
it's super fun, you know, I'm defining the logic of, of the enemies here. So the behavior of those enemies is implemented in, in that language. So I, I'm, I'm not working much on this one now. Uh, I was just trying ideas. That was me catching up with SDL after a while. Uh, can I talk to this guy? No. Can I talk to this? Hello, Victor. Oh, Victor is my son, by the way. How are you today? <laughs> he was very happy with that. <laughs> Hi there. How are you today? Okay, bye. <laughs> anyway, uh, you stop. I want to talk to you. Hello, Victor. How are you today? So that's one of the Hello, Victor's guys. Oh, it's locked. There you go. Anyway, uh, just ideas. Most of the stuff doesn't work. Uh, and and I got distracted and I started making a game in Haskell. So there you go. Yeah. So yeah, for, for effects, uh, Asphyxia is a very good tool. It's similar. It's in the vibes of SXFR and BSXFR. Um, it's just that, I don't know, I found it super fun to use and I made all the effects with that one. So the effects on the game are made with that one. And I just save, export it as a WAV file and I normalize the audio a little bit and that was all. I mean, they're probably not. I don't know. They're... I think they're fine. They probably can be better, but I think it suits the game. I'm going to get that. Anyway, so the end of stage is something I need to do as well. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do the end of stage, right? How do we do the end of a stage? Uh, well, we have things here. Um, I think we have everything we need, to be honest. Um, so the map is the one that knows about the gold. So which map is complete there you go so I know you it. okay 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 this is good so if map if map is complete What do we do? Um, what do we do? Okay, so the idea that I had was... Um, pa, 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 pa. We can do it here in a function, so I don't need to expose the entities outside. Which is ugly, because we already have the time monster, right? Anyway, the map is complete, the time master information is going to be useless. We also need to do similar to what we do with the game over, right? Uh, so, what is the wrong game over? Um, we need to do something about it. Uh, 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 timer stop. There you go. So we need to stop the timer because yeah, we need to stop the timer. It's, we're going to give bonus on the timer, right? Based on time. So the entities, how do we call that? Mm. And this what? How do we call that function? So it's going to be a function that is going to 
uh, is going to convert all the entities in the effect to go to disappear from the screen. So void entities who do call that? Uh, like what? Uh, dis disappear all? <laughs> or, you know. Uh, no. Uh, clear all. Well, I don't know. Whatever. I, 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 I don't know really how to call it. But. So... Um, it's going to be effect. And it's going to be this one. So, ba -ba 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 here. And we need to go through all that this, basically. So it's going to be just this code here, right? So we go the entities. If the entity is in use, then we convert that into effect out. And then we say here. Ah, okay. But now I included effect. What did I do wrong? Oh, what? Because it's not when doing not see again. No, it seems to be fine. Okay. So that's needed. And let's read the error, right? Effect of any entity. Uh, why is complaining about that? Ooh. Is because the effect? Is effect not included in entities? No, it is. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is me doing things a little bit wrong. Sorry. Yeah. The order of the, of the import, maybe. Oh no, I was going to cross in my arms like, oh, let's wait until something happens. No, I need to get all the gold. Which is kind of silly. I should change the stage to make it simpler. But the good thing about this is that by train this, I can see, you know, it's, it works as, as beta testing, right? Um, it didn't work, did it? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Mm. Could it be a problem in the map? So total gold equals to zero. That would return one, right? And every time we collect gold, we return total gold. Just subtract one to total gold, right? So that means that total gold, unless this is wrong and total gold doesn't have the right value. Uh, I don't know. Seems to be honest. Looks okay to me. Um. What? Are you kidding me? What? 
Wait. Didn't we add here the map is complete? This is weird. Oh, because maybe I, you know, I did a combo and I staged things and I died all them. Wow. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Sometimes things happen. Anyway, I'm going to do the testing like this a few times, but it's very likely that I get sick of it. <laughs> And I simplify the stage so we don't have to do all this all the time. Okay, I lost a life. And to go the other side again. Now I'm going to simplify this. There you go. Okay, it didn't quite work. <laughs> it didn't quite work, did it? Okay, so why did that happen? So entities warp out all. So what is timer stop doing by the way? Oh, it disables the clock, fine. Which is what we need to do. Um, probably like this. Um, uh, okay, so... So this goes over all the entities. And effect out, what it does is change the frames. Uh, and it changes the update. Hmm. That looks fine, perhaps, no. The right, is it right zero? Yeah, anyway, it's zero because that's the one we're using, right? Um, so that was something that was wrong. In reality, we only need to keep left and right. Um, okay, so this is not exactly what I had in mind. So... This can be here. So they are exclusive, right? The, the map is complete. There's nothing to do with the time monster. So entities warp out all. Yeah, why? What did? What did it freeze? I mean, the frames were wrong, but it should have done the animation anyway. Something should have happened. I, I don't think it should freeze like that. Jump clearly. Yeah, why is not doing it? It has definitely done something. Says the frame, says delay, says the direction, change the frames on the entity, all that 
is good then it doesn't delay it looks like is something is, is broken when we do it like this um i mean the code should be exactly like like update but instead of updating the entities we need to convert that into effect out um so what's going on hmm? Hmm? Hmm. and this today um uh, is complete then we start the timer and we get rid of the time monster <sighs> don't know and it is war out all this looks okay it sucks the effect why the entities so it looks like when it gets here there was the first one be the queue. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, it could be that. I think it's going to be that. So now it shouldn't be playing anything because we're not flushing the queue. We're not flushing, guys. That's why. to let that hit me and so we can run here and no it's not the queue so it just stops updating the entities what shouldn't affect that right because so so apparently what it does is it makes the changes in here so I think there is something funny in the effect out in it. What else can be wrong here? Hmm? What is changing the frames? Is that correct? Uh, I think it is. Yeah. The number of frames, max frame is three. confused why I'm using frame one hmm I don't remember what I why I did this like that but this looks okay so delay is zero so this should be updating the frame and when it gets to max frame it's basically finished um and I don't see why this shouldn't be working um, it's not the timer, right? Well, the timer doesn't do anything. The time is just stops the clock, which is the so it's the same that with the with the pause, right? The 
the difference now when it's paused, it pauses the time and and basically it basically skips updating the screen and the entities and everything um yeah very confusing i don't understand i don't know why converting all those entities okay so the pickups the pickups exit like this oh and we need to set the effect the sound effect okay fine it's not doing anything anyway um effect out in it and it's using well i don't see what what is wrong really i don't see what is wrong so we set frames We said frames, makes sense. Direction, which is uh, in the pickups is always zero. So it makes sense that we have to set it here. Then we set the frame. We set delay to zero because that's what we're going to use to, to see for how long we animate each frame. So you know, each frame is going to be displayed. Time is it. Cool. And we change the update. Yeah. That should be absolutely fine. Why? Why is not updating the and it's not updating the entities? Oh no, I left one. Oh no. Okay. Oh, I'm stupid. It's my fault. <sighs> yeah, because it's going to enter here all the time. Okay, so we need a variable. Um, that is going to be it's going to be I mean it's going it's going to be have the same effect as the game over so it is going to be a delay and it's going to be you it's going to be to double as as a flag here <laughs> okay so if not do this please then so we have a game over delay right so it's going to be the same but So where where are you? Where are you? Where are you? No. So stage clear is going to be stage clear delay. And then And then we're going to do something, something, something here. Um, that I know what it's going to be. It's going to be Goto. And next stage is something we will do. 
later, not now. But at least we have something for testing, right? Anyway, yeah, I mentioned at the beginning, it's a shame that I can't really test this with my own laptop. Because even if he's 16 years old, he's not that old. Because the sound card is actually not a sound blaster. And it doesn't have... Yeah, there you go. The only thing I don't really like about this is that the player could die while the stage is complete. Mm. And I don't like that. The, st the player could die. So I guess <clears throat> I don't know. Let's ensure that the player can die. Can't die. And that's it. And so here we can do... Which is going to be similar to the game over. But not the same. Because... So this so it's two more so we need to strat eight so sixteen and not here here Who needs the pickaxe? You can just be careful, right? We can also, we can. It doesn't make sense to do it like this. Yeah, that's it. Clean and symbol. Okay, so. So we do a stage clear. Um. This probably needs to be a little bit lower, uh, like uh, ready is an hundred. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so we do this, and then we need to increase the bonus, right, for the time. Um, and what? How do we do that? So we can do while oh we can just do so if we do this we Check the value of time and then and then we decrement. So if time is one, it stills enter once, right? 
So we need to um, add a score, right? So we do and we can add 25 for each. And we also need to ensure that we update the time because we are reducing the time. And, and we're going to queue the sound for gold. Do we need a queue? Question. Do we need to queue? No, we don't. We can just do play, right? No, we need to queue. Uh, because we want... We want this to be in sync. Um, which is fine. I mean, there will be a, a jingle here, so we're definitely going to play a jingle when the... Uh, it's not time? Ah, uh, no, it's good time. So there will be a jingle when you finish the stage. So it's not going to be like, you're going to wait for the period of the jingle. Now it's not a good jump, I say. Uh, pretty much as bad as this one. <laughs> that didn't work. Um. Okay. Um. So there are. Th few things here that are not quite right um so so this has to be um okay okay so Okay, cool. So this is better. Now, um, this didn't work. Oh, because we need to call. <sighs> we'll blend there, by the way. Sorry, I just got. I lost it. Sound, then we need to render the hood. But still, it didn't play, so I think we probably need to wait two frames at least, maybe more. Um, maybe more. Something like this. We don't want it to make it too too quick. We want it to make it too slow. Something in between, really. Nah. <laughs> anyway, I think it's started to look like looking. You know, it's started to look like a game. I think. Not sure if a fan game, we'll see, but I mean, there is a lot of work to do in the level design anyway. Ha ha ha, that wasn't great, was it? 
Ah. Uh, no, it wasn't great. Because um because what? Because who's been there? Because the time here Is this as well? Um, and perhaps for the color, better. Okay. Has to reset the comment here, so anyway, I think it's clear enough. Ooh. I mean, this is just. I mean, I, I, I guess it happens to everybody to some extent when you are open, making something open source, you start to be a little bit mm, like self-conscious of what you are writing. Like, definitely doesn't need a comment. The code should be clear enough, but I'm certainly not going to write a comment for myself. But. Yeah, it's cool. Um, thinks this is wrong. Time is bigger than ten. It's bigger than ten. Or it stays clear to start with. And. And also, this is too long. And also, perhaps, hey, hello, Bern, two hundred and forty five. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find out. It, the transition to the next stage doesn't look great and perhaps we can do something like this um, maybe so can do I mean this is just now just to make it look a little bit better but I don't think it really matters too much because until we have the music I'm just adding some random waiting times uh, but with the music it's going to be really dependent on the music I mean, there will be a ginger jingle saying, you know, when the stage is complete and all the stuff. So. Well, slightly better. <laughs> Not great, but. How many levels? Um, I don't know really. Um, so there are two things that I need to, you know, before, you know, in order to answer that question, I need to 
think about two things. First of all, how much time I'm going to have left to make the levels? And secondly, how many levels I can make until this starts to be boring? Um, it's also true that I will probably need to draw more tiles because at the moment I have a very limited tile set. Uh, but it doesn't look bad, but it can get a little bit boring, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Maybe what it needs is some sort of transition or something. This is too, too quick. Uh, I'm going to leave it like this for now. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I have made um, similar single screen arcade games for AB systems. Um, Nine Night, that is basically the same game with different contexts, but the mechanics is, are the same. That one had 80 screens. 80 screens and also... Yeah, when you do 80 screens, it's kind of difficult to be completely sure that all 80 screens are going to be super well ba balanced. So that one has a password system. This looks great. I think it's fine. I mean, it's all fake for now because it should be moving to the next stage and the map should be different, right? I'm just uh, putting the plan beam for the next stage. So I don't know. Um, yeah, thank you. I mean, Night Night, if you want to look uh, the inspiration of this one. Um, is this one. It's for the MSX, which probably means that you need that emulator to play it. But it's very similar. It's just that instead of collecting gold, you need to step on all the tiles. So this one has 80, 80 levels um, with I think it's five different tile sets and it has more types of enemies. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight enemies. And I was saying the balancing 80 levels is difficult. So I added passwords, which means that some screens can be a little bit difficult, especially the ghosts. The ghosts are super difficult to avoid because uh, the screen is smaller than I have in in this game I'm working on at the moment. So there are some areas that you can't really avoid them, really. So you're going to lose a life and whatever. So yeah, so in this game I made 80. And in other games I have made 50. So if I have time, because I'm making this game as part of this uh, jam, game jam, and the submission time ends in 12 days. So I don't know. I think putting together 25 levels, maybe, or 30, shouldn't be too difficult. But then, I mean, this is a tile set I have, uh, which is kind, kind of minimal. If I draw more tiles, so when I'm doing the level design, there's some, some variability, you know, it doesn't look the same all the time, then I could be doing more. Um, I don't know. What I'm aiming with this game is a kind of like a simple arcade arcade feel from mid 80s. See, so there are currently five different enemies, count, counting the time monster. So in reality, it's only four different enemies. So four different enemies. Uh, there are no moving platforms, but I'm I'm adding a kind of puzzle component with the doors and the keys that I haven't implemented yet. So I'm not sure if there's content for 80 screens or 100. I mean, Google Google had 100, right? When I made a game on that style, I stopped up in about 50 screens. So... Okay, 80 levels. It's great content for a game like that. I will try them in a second. Yeah, okay, I understand you have time limit on the jam, but you can polish finish after also. Yeah, of course. Uh, there is also the thing that 
when I finish the game, I'm probably going to be sick of it. Um, so I'm not sure how long. I mean, it's going to be a free game, free to download and play. It's a DOS game. So, on, on one hand, submitting that to the jam means that more people will play it, which is nice. Uh, but, yeah, I can do more things after that and just make it a little bit bigger. But at the same time, it's, you know, it's not that much of a great game. If I give you a free game um, that it has, say, 25, 30, maybe 50 screens, even if it's a little bit, you know, samey at the end, if you like it, you will play it, and if not, it's free. I mean, you don't need to. It's okay. It's just good fun, isn't it? Cool. Uh, so, this is a fix. Uh, so, that was a book fix. Uh, in here, we added the This is the stage clear call, right? Which I didn't plan to do today, but I had to do it anyway. So it it pretty much looks okay. I need to add the the code um, to support multiple maps and link them because at the moment there is only one one stage, right? And it keeps it keeps repeating, but it should increase the number, the stage number, and then load a different map, and you know all that stuff. I mean, this code is starting a little bit to be a little bit messy, but I think it's fine. Uh, okay, so before we commit that, let's remove that. Hey, there you go. Another thing done. So cool. Let's take a look one last time. I think game demand exists for the MS DOS as for MSX CPC. Yeah, that's true. I mean, what is true is that, I mean, I can tell you something. How many games you get on a Steam release every week or every month? I mean, I do this for fun. That is one thing that is true. When you make a, a game for fun as a hobby, it's very likely that nobody's going to play your game. <laughs> Not even your mom. So, you know, by targeting those platforms that you mentioned in MSX, CPC, you know, the people that are really passionate about those systems, they are going to play your game because there are not that many games coming out. So, I mean, as long as you don't make something terrible, but even if it's not really great, people will play it, even if it's, you know, one afternoon or whatever. And also, I need to make the music. I need... Writing the music is going to be a little bit... In my experience, for me, it's the harder, hardest part because I'm not very good drawing, perhaps, but... Oh, no. I'm not great at level design, but the music is the one that is really, really challenging. Yeah, it looks good. Perhaps the transition is a bit quick, but it's also true that the 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 ready message is going to be longer because there will be playing a, there will be music playing, right? Like for example, ah, oh, let's take a look to Night Night 
uh, just very quickly because it may be uh, a good example of what I'm trying to do. And it's also a good reminder for myself because I made this game, but sometimes there are details that. Okay, so. See? Do you have enough time to actually see the, the ready message? So. Ah, it feels so slow compared with the DOS version. Oh, because this is probably running PAL. And PAL is. Uh, 50 Hertz, uh, so it's 50 frames per second. While we play in the VGA, you know, we play in the DOS uh, game, which is 60. So that's why it, it feels so slow. Oh, that was not very good. See, there is a jingle as well. Stay clear. You get your seconds. There's plenty of time. So the the DOS game, the uh, I, I, I still not used the name, the Gold Mine Run, which is the name I put to the game. Um, it feels weird at the moment because it feels it feels too quick the transition, but it's because the music is not playing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I I, I think. So I was thinking for something simple because this is the first game I made for the MSX and I didn't want to make something too complicated so I came with this idea and apparently I think there is a Commodore 64 game that uses a similar mechanic but I didn't know the, didn't know the game which is fine See, this is a new enemy that it throws an arrow and um, because I failed jumping right there, killed me. But yeah, so the basics of the the basic of the idea is that it's simple mechanics, easy to understand, easy to get playing, then it gets complicated by the interaction with the enemies. Stage 3. Um, so it gets complicated with the type of enemy because um, the enemies have different behaviors and like... Uh, for example, I have done that in, in, in other games for other systems. Uh, so the first one I did, which is kind of super simple, uh, what's the name of the... So I did this in 2016. So... So this is the first one I did on this... Uh, you know, looking for a single screen platformer. And it follows the same formula. To some extent, although the mechanics are different. But the idea is pretty much the same. I want to do something like this when you start the game. Uh, uh, so let me. So, in this one is kind of bubble bubble. You need to hit the enemies and then touch them. They drop a potion that you need to collect. And I'm very bad right now playing this game. <laughs> so basically, this is the game has two components. Um, so one of them is the behavior of the enemies, and the second one is the time. You're always playing against the time because you need to navigate the screen. So you know the enemies move around freely. So. You need to go after them. This enemy doesn't do anything. It's just walking around. It jumps and stuff. But 
Then you have the knights. The knight have a shield, and in order to kill the knight, you need to shoot them on the back because on the front they have the the shield. Uh, the wizards will throw magic at you, um, and you know, so different enemies, different behaviors. So, on one hand, you need to deal with the enemies, but you also need to navigate the screen because as the the game moves on, there's different, you know, different layouts. Um, so you need to move around and and because you need to collect the see this guy has a shield he can't really do anything i need to go and hit them on the back and yeah that's the idea so let's say that the one i'm doing on for those is going to be a simpler version of some of these ideas because I don't have that much time. I mean, I made this game in three months anyway. It's not like a long time. But yeah, I don't have three months for the DOS game. And obviously, I'm not going, I'm not going to be streaming the development of the game for during three months. It's kind of too much. Anyway, so that's the basic idea. Um, so when I designed this game, is basically I, you know, there are a lot of single screen platformers that you can find. Uh, and and you know spend some time spend some time looking at them you know and trying to understand why is this fun it's not just bubble bubble there are a lot of them you know tumble pop uh, uh Me Me metham brothers of the amiga um so there are a lot of games that follow similar mechanics and you know it works <laughs> You can make your own take. Oh, so we have now the wizard. So the wizards can do magic. So yeah, he just kill me. That's a very good demonstration of what he can do. Anyway, so this was pretty much bubble bubble, right? But different. So yeah, so that's the basic idea, um, and that's what we're doing here. But I'm using the the mechanics of, of the 99, the MSA, the MSX game, which is basically instead of look at this, it feels so different now, like because the frame rate is higher. I think on the CPC I was updating the screen, the action at 16 frames per second. The MSX was. 25 and in this one I'm doing 60 <laughs> that's why it plays so smooth um, anyway well that is going to be all for today I think um, so I plan to stream again on Thursday the plan is to oh man I forgot the time monster is done Yeah, I did the time monster today as well. So on Thursday, um, I think if I manage to finish the, the logic of the two remaining enemies, which is uh, the old miner that is going to be the free enemy, that is going to move around without paying attention to the player, and the tracker is going to be Mr. Bones, that is going to pay attention to the tracker, uh, sorry, to the player, uh, and it's going to go after you to some extent, right? And yeah, if on Thursday I can finish those two games, two, those two enemies, that would be brilliant. Because um, looking at the time we have left, that means that, I mean, 12 days is basically... Um, yes, this week and the next one, basically. Uh, so yeah, if I can finish this week, uh, this those two enemies, I can do the intro and the keys on the next one, and the time left is going to be. I mean, the music I'm going to write write that of 
not on the stream because it's going to be annoying like a lot of beeps and bops until I get something that sounds like music uh, so I will do that probably during the weekend um, so yeah next week the keys in the doors and the interscreen maybe the joystick the joystick is something I want to do because my sons they are they are six and eight and they don't play great with keys so I just want to support USD for them to play but I can add that later so yeah there is a chance that I can submit this to the jam I think I also need to do the level design but the level design I can start doing it before I have the keys and the doors so we'll see anyway we will continue with this on Thursday nice to chat with you solar facing and the rest Bern, the kites, the kites, raising the beam, and Harutsa. Well, see you maybe Thursday. Bye bye now.